Denji leaps into the jaw of the devil, sacrificing himself to be devoured by the monster. Before we arrive here, Let's go back to where we ended things off between the conversation Makima was having with Denji. If Denji can defeat the gun devil, she'll grant him any one wish. She explains 13 years ago there was an increased use of guns globally to combat devils. However, gun violence became more rampant and fears of guns all around the world skyrocketed. A flashback is shown between two boys having a snowball fight. The older brother demands Tayo, the younger brother puts on a pair of gloves so that he won't catch a cold. Tayo happily runs into the house until... The house becomes instantly obliterated by the gun devil's blast. The flashback continues, showing the devastation the gun devil caused in several countries. In roughly five minutes, the gun devil has massacred over 1.2 million people. In the present, Makima explains how the gun devil has been missing since, and pieces of the gun devil's flesh has been scattered from the incident. These pieces, when consumed by devils, will enhance their strength. But more importantly, these pieces can reattach, and once they combine to a certain size, they will try to return to its original body to regenerate. We shift over to Aki and Himeno recovering a piece of the gun devil's flesh, where it's revealed the older brother in the flashback was Aki. Later, we see Aki alongside Denji and several other hunters tasked to hunt a powerful devil in Hotel Marin, who's rumored to have consumed a piece of the gun devil's flesh. As the group approaches the hotel, Arai expresses his distrust over Denji and Power for being devils. To ease the tension, Himeno promises to award anyone a kiss on the cheek for defeating the devil. Denji refuses, reciting Makima's conversation that naughty things feel better with someone you care about. Himeno playfully brushes off Denji's comments and whispers that if he can take down the devil, she'll offer him a f which excites Denji. As the group makes their way through the corridors of the hotel, Himeno senses the presence of a devil. The room door opens and what appears is a small demon as the group looks onward confused. The demon begins to glare towards Kobeni as he begins to jump at her but is locked in place thanks to Himeno. Power slices the devil in half as Himeno explains the demon was frozen in place thanks to the contract she's made with the ghost devil. In exchange for feeding it her right eye, she can use the ghost invisibility and strength as the group make their way upstairs. Arai notices something bizarre. Despite the group moving up towards the ninth floor, they strangely seem to arrive back on the eighth floor. Aki concludes this strange phenomenon must be coming from the devil's unspecified powers. It's at this point, Aki notes all the clocks in the rooms were stopped at 8.18, theorizing the floor is trapped in time making anyone coming to their aid impossible, causing the group to panic. Hours later, Aki reveals that he discovered the location of the devil, but rather than the small human form it took before, it has multiplied into a large grotesque monstrosity. The devil offers them a contract. In exchange for eating Denji, the devil will release the rest of the devil hunters from the hotel. Confused, the group looks at Denji, while Kobeni points a knife towards him, demanding to accept the contract. Kobeni charges towards Denji, but Aki kicks the knife away as Himeno elbows Kobeni to the stomach to knock her out. Aki attempts to summon the fox devil, but is unsuccessful from being cut outside from the real world. Himeno summons her ghost devil to attack the monster, landing direct hits. Yet the more it cries in pain, the larger it becomes. The devil reveals to the group that its true body is hidden and isn't located on the 8th floor, offering the contract to them once more. Denji believes the devil is bluffing, but Himeno explains that contracts are unbreakable, meaning that if a devil does not honor their end of the bargain, they die. Aki suggests to Himeno that he should use the sword, but Himeno refuses. <laughs> Growing impatient, the devil tries attacking the hunters. It expands and grows stronger the more it's feared, revealing itself as the Eternity <laughs> Devil. Suddenly, the room begins to shift and tilt to one side, with the hunters looking downward onto the Eternity Devil, with its mouth wide open, seeking Denji's heart. As the Eternity Devil looms towards the group, Arai and Kobeni beg to offer Denji up to the monster. Aki is determined to use the sword to get them out, but Himeno restrains him with the Ghost Devil, explaining that using the weapon will massively shorten his lifespan. Apologizing, Arai tackles Denji as Kobeni seizes the moment to strike, but... Aki protects Denji, getting stabbed instead. Aki explains that despite the animosity he feels towards Denji, he's going to need all the allies he can get to face the gun devil. Shocked, Denji instructs Power to stop the bleeding with her abilities. Power says that she can only control her blood freely, but will try her best to aid Aki. Himeno finally begins to crack under pressure, worried about Aki's life. Frustrated, Denji finally offers himself to the Eternity Devil on behalf of the group, but isn't going down without a fight. Denji comments that although the Eternity Devil is invulnerable, it still feels pain. Therefore, Denji plans to torment it until it wants to die and commit suicide.
Denji leaps into the jaw of the Eternity Devil, devoured by the monster. Until... Denji explodes out of its mouth in his chainsaw form. He begins slicing the devil repeatedly, but the Eternity Devil tells Denji that it's useless. Power comments that Denji's losing blood fast, and if he loses too much, his chainsaws will retract. The Eternity Devil continues biting into Denji. His chainsaws begin to retract due to losing too much blood. Denji retaliates by biting back into the devil, regaining his chainsaws. The brutal battle wages on. Both opponents deal heavy damage to each other until Denji collapses of exhaustion as the devil celebrates. Himeno summons the ghost devil to pull on Denji's cord, reawakening him. Denji suddenly realizes that by drinking the devil's blood, he can recover his wounds and stamina, meaning he can continue attacking it without end. Three days later, the eternity devil, shattered and torn to pieces, begins apologizing to Denji, revealing its heart, begging him to kill it and end its suffering. The group exits the hotel bloodied and exhausted. Denji is happy to have recovered a piece of the gun devil's flesh, but collapses right away. Later, at a restaurant, the entire devil hunter squad are seen happily celebrating. Denji is seen looking agitated, unable to read the menu before remembering the promise Himeno made about that French kiss. Himeno tells Denji she needs to be more intoxicated because she's too shy to do it sober. Suddenly, Makima arrives, surprising Denji. Denji is now in a bind. He really wants to kiss Himeno, but he doesn't want Makima to see, yet remains adamant on French kissing Himeno. He decides to steer the conversation, telling Makima he's acquired a piece of the gun devil's flesh. Aki questions Makima's interest in Denji. However, she casually tells Aki she'll reveal everything about Denji if he can outdrink her. Aki and Himeno are seen passed out as Makima strangely seems unaffected by alcohol. Denji notices Himeno from behind. She grabs his face and begins to passionately kiss him. Denji is concerned by Makima watching the events unfold, but begins to immerse himself in the moment, adding how warm Himeno's tongue is. It's soft. So soft, in fact, that she had vomited in his mouth. The next day, Makima is seen boarding a train alongside a devil hunter for her Kyoto business trip. She reminisces about the night before, until... A group of passengers nearby them suddenly pulls out guns and shoot them both dead. With Makima taken out of the story, who exactly is trying to assassinate Denji? To find out, click on the next story arc, Katana Man.